guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Um, right, so today we're here for another one of our Alphabet um, three items, 30 minute challenges. So we're up to letter D. Have to confess, I did struggle to come up with something for D. Um, thought and thought, couldn't really kind of think of anything. Obviously there was distressing and things like that, or distressing. Um, but, you know, they just seemed a little bit too obvious. So, eventually, it suddenly came to me that we could do some decoupage. Um, I don't think I've ever actually done decoupage on a video before. So, this is the first for me. And, um, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. So, if you're wanting to join in the challenge um, and you haven't come across it before, we're doing three items, 30 minutes. I literally set the timer and, you know, we work towards that. So far... Obviously, there have been three videos and we have just about, kind of, just about managed to get our pieces kind of done. Um, on the bees, I just had a couple more bits that I needed to do, so I just did them sort of after the video. Um, yeah, so, you know, but if we don't meet them, I will just stop the timer and stop the project, you know. Uh, right, so what you're going to need, obviously, for this one is some napkins. Uh, I've just pulled in a couple of napkin pieces, if I could just actually get them. Um, yeah, I've got a variety here because other than the first piece, I'm not 100% certain what I'm going to do yet. Um, I'm going to be following a technique that I saw Sagita do, um, you know, a really long time ago, but she's got a fantastic uh, tutorial on how she does her decoupage so that's the technique that I'm going to be using now obviously because I'm doing this in 30 minutes I'm a little bit mindful that you know my decoupage is not really going to have dried um, I have seen other people do decoupage with things like just a glue stick I haven't ever tried that obviously that would produce you know faster drying results for this kind of thing um, but I haven't actually ever tried that so I'm using the mod mod podge um, method so I've just got here this is just some packaging um, you know the like acetate kind of stuff from some packaging so I'm going to be using that to do my decoupaging as I say I've got some napkins I've got some book page and then I have you know you name it it's here on my desk um, in my desk ephemera so you know those are the kind of materials that you're going to need and then anything you're going to want to actually decorate up your pieces so obviously I'm aware that sometimes the decoupage can be a bit time consuming so I don't know whether we're going to meet this challenge or not but I hope you're going to join me and um, yeah let's get cracking so let me take my timer and I'll just do that reset thing and then we'll just add our minutes have to go careful here because suddenly it's there okay right for some reason it's always a few seconds in so we're already 10 seconds into our challenge so my first piece that I'm going to do I've just got some bit page here so I'm going to cut this roughly to the size that I'd like to use Oops. and then what I'll do because this is still attached in a couple of places so I'll leave it attached and then I'm just going to obviously as you can see it's you know pretty messy where I've been using it for testing out my stamping I'm just going to glue these together and I'm only doing this so that I've got a more rigid base for my my pocket piece so that's all I'm doing this for. That's it. Glue that together. I'll just take my store card or gift card, or you know, I like to just smooth things out with you know the use of a card here. So that's that piece. And we don't have to worry too much. You know, I can see it's not straight, but that's fine. So I'm going to use this napkin here. So obviously this is. You know, a complete napkin at the moment. I don't need the complete napkin. So if I just take the portion that I would like to use. So I think probably I would quite like this piece here. 
So I'm just going to cut that down like that. Oops. Of that to one side. Now, obviously, the um, napkins they're normally three, three ply, so that just means you've got to pick off, you know, three, three of the individual layers. So that's the first layer, and then you know, invariably, occasionally, um, I think you know, you get them where they're just two layers, but. Ordinarily, they're generally three layers. So you just want to get rid of those two layers. And I just put them to one side because they're quite handy then for just mopping up and, you know, tidying up really. So that's where roughly I want to have my piece. And what I'm going to do is take my acetate here. Now, my Mod Podge, I have watered this down. So it's... Um, well, there's no science. Well, there probably is, but I don't use any particular science. So I just water it down a little bit. So this is like some Mod Podge that, you know, had kind of been running out. And then I just watered it down so it's a thinner consistency. And then my napkin's upside down on the acetate. And I just paint in, you know, going from the centre... outwards like that on my piece and obviously you want to try and you know get quite a generous helping now I am aware that obviously you know this isn't quite big enough my um, my acetate piece so I mean you know obviously if I'm doing like sometimes I just have a bit of a you know decoupage in session and I may just decoupage up, you know, full sheets of, say, music, sheet music, to be able to use. And, um, you know, then I would obviously use a bigger sheet of acetate. But because I was doing this on camera, I was aware that I had quite a limited space. So what I can do now is just paste down a little bit on the page where, you know, my acetate's not really big enough. So just so that I've got it covered. And then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to pop it down on my page. And then all you're going to do is spread it out like that. And obviously to the sides there. And then just gradually start peeling your acetate piece up. Now, as I say, I would normally use a bigger piece, but I was just mindful that obviously, you know, a bigger piece might not necessarily have fitted on camera and things like that. So hence I've gone for this tiny piece here. And then once it's on there, you know, you can just go over it anywhere where it's a little bit, you know, not stuck down and you can just fill it in. So, you know, because my acetate wasn't really big enough, I'm just going to do that a little bit around the edges. But this I found really a helpful technique because, um, you know, it is pretty good for not getting too many bubbles and things like that. And you get quite a smooth effect. So that's that piece. Now I'm going to just leave that to dry-ish. Now obviously that's not going to dry in the course of doing this video. But I'm just going to pop it to one side because, you know, it's obviously pretty wet at the moment. So we'll come back to that piece and then you can just wipe off your acetate. And obviously, you know, as I say, I would normally be using a bigger piece. So at this point, I'd wipe it off and I would actually just turn it over and use the reverse. Obviously, I'm not going to do that for this video because this has got like a lip around it so you know we're just going to go for it so the next piece and I'm very much doing this on the fly I've got a pocket piece from my very vintage kit and what I thought we could do is just take an image to put inside the frame 
So I've got this gorgeous napkin here with this Eiffel Tower image. And I just thought, let's just tear around that. You know, again, we don't have to be too precise here. Like that. I'll just tear this bit down here. Just so I don't have such a kind of square edge really. I'll just tear a couple of bits from the bottom just so it's not just running you know at a square right along the bottom like that. Okay right they're all now stuck on me because I've got Mod Podge you know, all over me but I've only just opened the jar. But to be fair even opening the jar I got a bit on me before even you know, switching the uh, camera on when I was just watering it down a bit. Right, so this one, as you can see, the two layers have very helpfully just come off together, you know, in one piece. So that's just perfect. And I'm just going to check. So we're going to have it kind of here on our pocket. So just again, place that there. It's going to pour out a little bit of my, or a little bit more of my Mod Podge mixture. And again, you know, just going from the middle outwards. And if you can see that it's like creasing too much, you can just, you know, start pasting the other way. So. You know, it's pretty, pretty good method, I think. So, you know, certainly for me, I've found this really helpful because I had tried um, various other methods that I had watched here on YouTube and, you know, I didn't necessarily get on with some of the other methods. So, you know, I found a lot of creasing or maybe tearing in the napkins and things like that. So this, for me, was really helpful. So we just... Pop that on there. Again, just, you know, spread out your Mod Podge and then lift your acetate, check that it's just stuck properly and just start peeling it away like that. Oops. Now I have to confess that I haven't actually ever tried Mod Podging onto, um, you know, a printable before. So this is a bit of a first for me. I hope it's going to be successful. Okay. So again, as you can see, I've just got a little bit around the edges that I will just kind of go over and just stick them down there. Just where they hadn't quite adhered, you know, on the edges. So there we go. Okay, so that's our second piece. So again, I'm just going to pop that to one side to dry for a moment. And then again, I'll just, you know, dry this off. And I'm just using that tissue that I peeled off the back of the napkin there. So the final piece, I think what we'll do, I've got some old invoices here, stated from 1939. Um, so these are copies of some old ones that I've, you know, I've purchased myself, um, which actually I keep meaning to do some printables of just these ephemera pieces. Um, so yeah, they're just coffee dyed um, copies. So I'm just cutting this down, getting rid of the edges, you know. I would do with this is fold this you know into thirds like a letter you know exactly like it would have been if you've received this in the post Oops. like that and then 
we can just decoupage on one or two pretty kind of bits on here. So let's have a look. I've got this piece of napkin here, which I thought was really pretty. So again, it's actually just coming apart because I've obviously already used this somewhere else. So I might as well just pull that off now. And obviously it's got these gorgeous flowers here. So I'm just going to take them down a bit. Like that. And then what we could do, now again, because that's obviously the bottom of the napkin, I'm just going to tear around that so it's not, you know, such a straight edge like that. And we can just, you know, have that there. And we maybe might have, well, I quite like the postmark actually, so perhaps we'll just tear around that. Trying to miss the butterfly so that we could possibly use him, you know, if not today, maybe another time. So, you know, maybe we could just have a postmark here or something. Or maybe going across there. So, again, I'm just going to tear across that so it's not so, you know, um, straight. Tear it down slightly because otherwise it was quite big. Might just have it down here. Okay. So again, just going to then take it, pop it onto my acetate piece. Oops. Oh, I need to pour a bit more Mod Podge. Right, time-wise, we're down to 15.54 now. So we're already nearly halfway. Those 30 minutes go so quickly in these challenges. So I'd love to know what you all think to the challenges, whether you're finding them stressful or fun. I mean, I guess there's probably, you know, some people would find this fun, some people will find it stressful. I mean, I'm finding it stressful, but oddly quite exhilarating as well, because, um, you know, it's definitely uh, taking me out of my comfort zone from a kind of overthinking point of view. You know, there's no way you can be overthinking when you're down to, you know, you've only got 30 minutes, because that really does whiz by. Okay, okay. And again, Any edges that just haven't quite adhered, I'll just go around those, okay. And then we're just going to put this piece just over here, like that. I am now wondering whether actually I would have preferred more flowers there because um, I'm quite sure that I think that postmark goes. I know it was, strangely, it was off the same napkin, so clearly it does go but it went when the napkin was in its full form. I don't know whether it necessarily goes, you know, when it's on its own. Um, I'm just seeing whether I've got another piece of the napkin handy or whether I would now need to dig it out again from, you know, from my pile of napkins, which obviously will just eat into time. So I don't necessarily want to have to do that. So let me just see whether I've got any hair buried on my endless supply of rubbish oh I don't think I have that's really annoying oh well we will just go with you know how it is because um haven't really got time to be mucking about obviously during the challenge so again just wipe off my oops, acetate piece put that down Finished with the Mod Podge now. So 
get rid of that out of the way and I'm just going to wipe a couple of the bits that I've just you know spilt on the acetate because otherwise I'll just have big blobs of Mod Podge around just check that I've got that up the right way yeah I mean not that it really matters because once it's on here you know I mean postmarks aren't always up the right way anyway are they they're often upside down so okay right again I mean oh gosh now I've used a flower that I've brought along for um in case I wanted to decorate anything right might as well bin that piece actually because I'm not going to be using that again today so right just trying to be a bit neat and tidy so again I'm just going to move this to the side to hopefully dry a little bit before we get decorating now the time is really ticking by now we're at 12 minutes 17 is all we have remaining so I'm pulling this piece back in now this piece unfortunately you know is nowhere near dry um now my heat tool is um not really the best it's not really working properly so I'm not going to do that and also it would obviously be pretty noisy and horrible for you guys and because we're down to the wire you know you can't really stop it and um muck about because obviously we've only got our 30 minutes so taking some paper here what I want to do is have this over the top and I'm just going to tear a piece in the middle. Where we will have, you know, like a like a sneaky peek of the napkin below. Is, you know, what I was thinking. So, you know, you can do that how you like, but... We'll just tear it down a bit more. Maybe a bit more. Maybe going a bit further down. Just like that. In fact, could come right out. I'm just thinking otherwise you don't really see much of the napkin so just for a bit more impact I think. I'll just tear it kind of like that. And you've just got then just that sneaky peek of the napkin behind. So now unfortunately this is not really dry. So we're just going to be winging it here a little bit. I'm just going to wipe my brush off. Oh time is getting on now. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, 10 seconds is all we have left. So, I need to hurry a little bit. Let's ink up, you know, this page so it's nice and grungy looking. Like that. I really want to go into these bits here, like that, and then the edges, we will probably do the edges in a minute. So I'm just going to, <clears throat> I think actually I'm just going to trim this at the top a bit, like that, and then I'm just going to ink this up. Now obviously as I say this is not really dry so it's, you know, not the best um, method here that I'm using but you know obviously time is of the essence and you know I'm keen to obviously show you the complete thing rather than muck about so just going to glue my page on or my pocket section on so I'm just going to glue down three sides like that slightly okay and then obviously you can trim that round at the back so it fits slightly better like that. 
obviously I'm aware that the more I press this, the more it's likely to actually just adhere to the bit beneath where it's obviously still wet mod podge. So I'm um, trying to kind of avoid that a little bit. Right, obviously I've trimmed that side down, so I just need to re-glue it on that side. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, I mean I probably actually want this slightly narrower, so I'm going to take it in a bit more. And I actually don't mind it being off-centre, more to the side. I think that actually looks quite nice. I never would have done that intentionally in the first place. You know, I wanted my um, torn part running down the centre, but actually, I quite like it running off centre, I think. Okay, so that's our piece, and it's just got that poking through, which looks really pretty. I'm just going to take maybe some doily here, so can let me just grab some from my little pieces here. Okay. Some lace here. Oh, I don't think that's quite the right colour. What about some ivory? Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So, just going to ink this up a little bit so it's not quite so, you know, stark white on the piece. I don't always ink up doilies, I quite like them stark white sometimes, or you know, quite often. It just depends really on the piece, I think, so. Okay. Let's pop that down like that. And then we're just going to pop some lace trim down the side. So I will glue this on with my fabric glue. Just run that down like that. Okay. Get a wipe. Like that. And then just trim that off there. Trim down the side. Okay, how pretty is that? Really simple pocket, really, really pretty. So I love how that's turned out. And we could just pop on maybe a little flower or something. Oh, I love that. Just ink that up a bit. I mean, not that it necessarily needs it, but just trim off a couple of those little pieces, you know, where it's been attached to other flowers. Oh, I love that. Right. I don't think it actually needs anything else. I think it looks just pretty, just exactly as that is. I don't even think it needs any bling, she says. I don't actually think it needs it. So, so that's that piece. And just to demonstrate, you know, I've just got here just a stamped piece. That's your pocket really cute so I'm going to move that to one side just to dry for a moment just checking that I haven't stuck this down onto the decoupage now because obviously that you know as I say it's still wet so right that's that piece move that to one side next piece and we're down to almost only four minutes so again I'm just inking this around crunching it up a bit Again, you know, my decoupage piece, unfortunately, is not dry on here. So I am mindful of that. Just going to fold it in. And the only reason I'm folding it in, really, is just so that when I glue things down, I know roughly, you know, where I need to glue to. So, you know, I don't want to kind of glue things on that then it's going to be folded up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So 
So luckily this is going to be a super quick piece to do. I've got some flowers here. <clears throat> so I think what I'll do is just layer up some flowers around. And these are just from my Beauty Fair kit. So really pretty. Just ink that up a bit. Yeah, I think that will that will do. Oops. Like that. Do we want some lace on this one? Maybe some down there. Do we want the pink lace or the ivory? Oh the pink's quite nice actually. Now that's weird because I would not have put the pink lace but it just goes to show that sometimes it's the pieces that you really don't expect that actually look the best. That's that one. I wonder if we should have the pink and the ivory. Oh that's quite nice. I'm just going to do both of those. So again my fabric glue on and actually I will just ink this ivory up a bit just a tiny bit pop that on there like that and then we'll just pop on the pink over the top So really pretty. Just see whether I need a little bit of a little bit of something something on here. So oh gosh, I've got glue everywhere now, stuck all over me. Oh uh, yeah. Yes, I like that. Or do we want a bit of gold actually? Oh, maybe the gold. Right, just hold that down. Oh my gosh, I'm out. I've only got 30 seconds left, 35 seconds left. Right. Okay, that's on there. Right, super quickly, just drag this one back in. And then where you put your folds, just ink around that. Oh my God. This is just rush, rush. Oh no, come on. Oh, my time has gone. Oh, right, time is up. I just spare myself a couple more seconds only because that timer does seem to start like a good nine seconds in. So, you know, just inking my piece, that's all I'm doing. Hopefully you guys don't think I'm cheating, but... I guess if I were on a, you know, a game show or something, this would be cheating, wouldn't it? Right, there we go. Whew, that was definitely a, um, a tough challenge. So, yeah, I hope you guys joined in and um, had some fun. I hope you're really enjoying these, um, you know, 3 in 30 alphabet challenge. I mean, I'm thinking they're really fun, but... Yeah, I realise that some people may find this quite stressy and, you know, not so much fun. So, excuse me while I stand up and rustle my carrier bag. Right, we have made this lovely piece of ephemera here with obviously just our napkin decoupage down on the sides. So, and again, as I say, I mean, that could just be folded up now and just popped in as a beautiful piece of ephemera. So... Again, let me just see if I've got something I can just demonstrate what these would look like. So if I bring this, obviously this would just be tucked in a pocket, you know, rather than obviously adhered to a page. Although, you know, you could stitch around this and have this as some sort of belly band or a pocket on a page, to be fair. So that's that piece, which I just think simple, but really nice. 
Then we did our pocket piece, which just love how that looks. Really pretty. And that's how that would look, obviously, on your page. So you've got your decoupage piece in the middle of the frame and then just framed it more with some flowers and some lace and some bling there. And then the most time consuming piece was this pocket here where we've got obviously the back which is the book page I mean, obviously this is not dry it's quite flimsy because it's still quite soggy um, and then what we did we just took some background paper and obviously tore that down so as we get a glimpse of what's behind inked it up pop the doily over some lace and a little flower and that's how that would look on your page so you know technically you could have this as a pocket here and I mean obviously once this was dry and not so flimsy you could you know adhere it as on say three sides and have it as a pocket you know in the side as well so I hope that you like the pieces that we made I hope you joined in and um, managed to get some pieces done using your decoupage um, techniques and I will see you next time. Hopefully you're going to join me for the um, 3 in 30 alphabet challenge. So, and we're up to E. So I will see you guys soon. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you all have a fab day. Thanks then. Bye.